All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect, scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. I'm the brother Taz of War, back at you again with another lesson. I'm in the book of Lamentations, chapter 4, and this is verse 17. As for us, our eyes as yet fell for our vain help. And our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. And through these years, we've been in captivity, okay? And I'm talking about the Israelites. We've been watching for a nation that could not save us. You know, your oppressor, slave master, is not your hero. He's not your savior, okay? He would never give you the power to be free. And you got this presidency thing going on, you know, Donald Trump lost the electoral vote by Joe Creepy Biden, all right? The man to get the job done for these elites and pushing these vaccinations and ultimately the microchip looks like he's gonna be in office. He's already rolled out his plan, and his plan is not too, not diff, not so different from Trump, especially when it deals with the vaccinations. He's just more on the ready to go now. And he also said about forming a task force. So military will be, you know, I wanna say forcing this vaccine. You know, I've seen brothers do videos. It was a, I guess an article written and titled, uh the final vote for mandatory vaccinations you know and we know all right through the scriptures through the spirit and power of yahweh bashim yahweh shai what the end is and how things are going to go all right which is not peace and safety but sudden destruction so it's going to be mandatory you know in all sorts of avenues so this is a truly a test and a trial period for us of the whole four legs, starting with the men down to you few sincere sisters. You know, when we, when the spirit of the Lord have a brother going into, um, you know, the uh, scriptures that, that brings out about the darkest hour, you know, like being cast into prison, being faithful unto death, but it also, uh, it also go towards you women too, you women, going to be in concentration camps too you know it's not just the men but you women as well especially those who fear the most high who fear Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai let me say Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai all right you're going to be tested and just as well as the men and just as well as the women whoever that lot fall on that the Lord sent through that trial remember you know these is the trying periods of our faith, whether it be unto death, you know? So things are getting real, all right? Things been serious, now things are getting real. So it says for our, for excuse me, for as for us, our eyes had yet fell for our vain help. And what is vain help? Vain help is big in the government. You know, you getting involved in these government organizations and protesting and being part of a, you know, Black Lives Matters and Tifa and so on and so on, you know, that's vain help. You actually begging the government to give you, you know, the things you need. And which this government was was uh, was designed to keep you Jake's oppressed, and that's just the truth. Okay? This is why you have no voice. You have nothing for yourself. Okay? You have no leaders now, okay, which is of uh, you know the world. To sort of bring you, you know, at the seat to give uh, what you call, you want to call black, uh, Latino uh, uh, benefits. You know, the benefits you receive from this mind control is, uh, is, is a trick bag, you know. It's to make you dependent on the government, dependent on them. But instead, you don't have no land, you don't have no money, you don't have no resources, you have no power, man. So as for us... Our eyes as yet fell for our vain help. 
and I was watching, because Jake always watching, all the part, always a part of the damn game. You know, no matter how much truth comes out, no matter how much the facts, you know, slap you in the face, and you see it, you fall right back into the game, you know, by your watching, hoping for help. Well, let's say vain help. It says, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. And now, Jacob's trouble is, is coming. It's here. We're near. And the separation of families, the isolation, the concentration camps, which they call in quarantine camps. All right? Don't let them play on words and trick you and seduce you. The scriptures say, never trust our enemy. For like as iron rust, so of his wickedness, man. Though he go crouching, take hold of him. All right? Because he's like a roaring lion. You know, he sneak up on you when your back is turned. If you know how the tigers and the lions deal, the panthers, they, they love when you when you have your back turned. And they, they're sneaking. That's the technique that they do. They, they learn it from when they're a pup or they're a cub. Okay? That's just something that's embedded in them. That's their natural, their natural beast instinct on how to kill. All right, when your back is turned, they creep up and when they bite, they go for your juggler. All right, they go for your neck and put you out, suffocate you when you can't breathe. And that's what Esau is doing, man. Okay, like a roaring lion, cause he's gonna roar after he take his first bite and taste the blood. All right, Esau is gonna show his horns, man. And when he strike and that first blood leak, oh, he gonna get excited, man. He gonna get excited, all right? So never trust our enemy, which is Esau, Edom, these other nations, and these heathens, Salakia. Salakia. Listen to you! I am not a monster. I'm away from this fucking black woman. Demon. All right, let's get back. So, uh, you know, let me bring up something which brothers have been bringing up often. Because we're in, we're in that, that, that prophecy, all right? Which is Revelations 13 and 11. And beheld, and beheld another beast coming up, coming up out of the earth, which had two horns like a lamb, and he speck as a dragon. Now that two horns like a lamb, and he speck as a dragon, well, let's say the two horns goes back to the time of the Greeks and the Romans where you had the Plebeian and the Patricians, okay? You had two groups which went out and spoke. They had leaders who would go and speak to the public to, you know, seduce the people into following some sort of agenda, okay? But at the end of the day, they speck as a dragon because they were one, one serpent, okay? At the end of the day, they both had the same agenda, but what they did was they uh, use, what is it called, dialectic, uh, auto app KO, you know, problem, reaction, solution, to make the people sway and go in the direction of the dragon. And that dragon also make, you know, make you think of the draconian laws, okay, which are uh, uh, dreadful laws, okay, harsh penalties uh, for, for, uh, for, for, for not following the law you know so they're implementing draconian laws when they mandate vaccinations okay when they mandate the mark of the beast you know if you guys and you different camps and we said from old time to time all right if you don't wake up you're gonna get got when you finish man so made a whole for elect all right among the different camps wake up and get this truth you know and pray to you how about how was shot so real quick you know, put this up. You have um, Plebeians and Patricians, the ancient Rome, okay? Patricians, the Patricians were the ruling class of the early Roman emperor. Only certain families were part of the, of the Patrician class and you had to be born a Patrician. The Patricians were only a small percentage of the Roman population, but they held all the power. Now the plebeians, it says all the other citizens of Rome were plebeians. Plebeians were the farmers. Damn. Plebeians was the farmers. 
craftsmen, laborers, and soldiers of Rome. You know, so just give you a quick roundabout. You can look this up on your own and you can have it in your note to look it up if you don't know what the Plavian Patricians are. So anyway, this is going to be a quick hit or something quick if it's not a quick hit. I want to go and read this now. All right. It says verse 20. It says the breath of our nostrils, the anointed of Yahweh was taken in their pits of whom we said under his shadow we shall live among the heathen. Verse 21, rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Now, the Edomites are starting off, you know, let's say, you know, starting off with the elite banking families, okay, which are the house of Esau, which they know that they're Esau, all right, with the house of the Rothschilds, Dupas, Gettys, and the rest of these, you know, names that they put upon themselves, really they're the Edomites. You know, down to the Edomites that also, that live among us Jakes in the suburbs and, you know, certain celebrities that rule the world. So rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of us, the cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. And that's what the Lord is going to do. So your time is up. See, it looks like hell, and it feels like hell, and it will be hell upon the Lord's people, the Israelites, going through Jacob's trouble. But there's light at the end of the tunnel for salvation. But for you Edomites, all right, there is no light. There's darkness, okay, great destruction, okay, recompense, payback at the end of the tunnel. All right, for you Edomites, and that's through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Shai, as the scriptures have said, not of what I say or man say, but what the word of Yahweh Bashem Shai say. In your terms, the word of God, you know, if you want to say that, if that, you know, makes you feel better. The word, the Bible, okay? It says, um, thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. And right now you can see the Lord is making Esau naked. He's being exposed and he's continuing to be exposed. You know, no matter what he do, you know, he's taking up the name to be called Sloppy E. You know, before he had everybody tricked, he deceived us well. But now he's Sloppy E. Everything is being, you know, it's sloppy. It's not done correctly. You can see the kinks in the armor that the word is chopping at. The word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know eating at his weak points and making them naked you know his lies are being exposed you know he's telling on himself all right it says um the punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished O daughter of zion he will no more carry thee away into captivity he will visit thy iniquity O daughter of edom he will discover thy sins and the lord is going to discover the sins of you edomites man and that's what he's doing right now. And eventually the time will come after your serade of your last, your last serade of bloodshed upon the Israelites. Bloodshed is going to be upon you. All right. Thus save the Bible. Thus save the Lord. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai as I'm reading the scripture. Okay. So, you know, that's all I have. I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bashem Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect, Shalom.